Hello everyone, it's Heidi and welcome to this week's episode of Baby Names Sunday. Today's list, I'm going to be sharing a Gemini inspired names list as we are in Gemini season. It started on Friday, so May 21st and runs all the way until June 20th. Now Gemini season always kicks off summer, so you're gonna find a lot of summery styled names in this list. Lots of unique ones, some trending ones as well. So if you're not a Gemini, but you happen to be having a summer baby in the next few months here, this list is going to be perfect for you. I'm gonna start off with some of the character traits of a Gemini, which I normally do, so if you do wanna skip ahead, I'll have that right here where you can skip ahead to the names, but let's get into it. All right, so Gemini's zodiac sign is represented by the twins. So Gemini's are always interested in a multitude of different things at once. They're always constantly juggling a variety of their passions all at once, and they are complete social butterflies. They are quick-witted, and because they roll us into the summer season they are very energetic very bright almost like a shiny spirit in them and they can adapt themselves seamlessly into any style of conversation they are ruled by the element air so they are a true air sign and their ruling planet is mercury so mercury is actually considered the messenger planet of communication now moving into some names there's two gemstones that are associated with Gemini so for May you have the gemstone emerald and for the month of June you have the gemstone pearl so two vintage girls names right there for you then speaking of vintage name choices the flowers that represent a Gemini are both the lavender and the lily or the lily of the valley so beautiful names right there it's a perfect prime time for any floral names for little girls you can do some floral names for boys as well during this time and obviously bringing right into that summertime you have some summertime names as well so first name on the list here I have the name hazel so H-A-Z-E-L, Hazel. I think this is a beautiful nature name. I feel like it's so timeless, but it's English originated meaning a hazelnut tree. So absolutely perfect for that spring to summer transition for a name. I think it's beautiful. Next on the list here for the boy side, I have the name Malachi. Spelled M-A-L-A-C-H-I, Malachi. Such a handsome Hebrew name option, meaning my messenger. Now, Geminis crave constant communication, so I thought that this name fit perfectly for a little Gemini boy. It's also a unique biblical name choice, so I felt like it is so perfect. It's a little bit familiar, but definitely still remains unique. Something short and sweet on the girl side, I have the name Neva. Spell N-I-V-A, Neva. So beautiful, it's actually one of the very first times I've ever heard it. I think I've stumbled upon it maybe a couple months ago, but it's also a Hebrew originated name meaning talk or expression. So I feel like Malachi and Neva could be really great with those same meanings of talking, expressing, communicating, and then Malachi being that messenger. Next up here, another biblical name option actually on the boy side, but I've actually heard this used for a girl side recently. So let me know if you guys think this one is genderless, but it's the name Esau, spelled E-S-A-U. Esau. Now this one's again a unique biblical name idea and it actually has twin inspiration and Geminis are represented by that twin that was kind of two heads that they just are juggling in between and Esau in the Bible was actually Jacob's twin brother. All right now moving on to a genderless option it's also a nature name and this is the name Sparrow. Spell S-P-A-R-R-O-W Sparrow. I love this so much for a girl. Honestly I haven't actually seen too many babies be named this name but it happens to fall onto a lot of name lists it is a bird name as you guys know you'll find these birds just so energetic singing bright early in the morning and that just reminds me between that late spring that early summer time then speaking of energy this next one I kind of totally made it up and I think it's so pretty for a girl it's the name Zesta spelled Z-E-S-T-A, Zesta. Like how flipping cool is that? Pretty sure I made it up, but it kind of is like incorporating zest or zesty, something like full of energy, very bright and vibrant. During that summertime, oh, I don't know, that zest in the air, just that happiness, Zesta for a little girl. Okay, for this next one, I have actually another girl's name option. It's actually a combo. Let me know what you guys think, because I really feel like this one, I did well. Okay, so it's the name Lively J. 
spelled L-I-V-E-L-Y, lively, and J, spelled J-A-E. Lively, I think, is so bright, so shining. It literally means full of life or energy, which I think going transitioning into summertime, we all have a little bit more pep in your step. And then as for J, it's derived from the J-bird. Now you can do J-A-Y, but I love J-A-E as like a unique girl's name option. And I love the bird symbolism because I felt like it flowed with energy, like a little energetic bird. Now back over to the boy side, one that's kind of cool, kind of western-y sounding is the name Rhett. Spelled R-H-E-T-T, -T, Rhett. This one actually has slowly creeped its way over to the gender neutral spot, but I still feel it's totally suits a little boy. It's actually English from Dutch originated, meaning advice. So like I said, Geminis are really big communicators. It's their biggest attribute and giving advice, talking things through, it's just what Geminis do best. So I thought this fits perfectly for a little Gemini boy, a little Rhett. Then moving back over to the girl side here, another option I have for you guys is the name Kenna, so K-E-N-N-A, Kenna. Now this one's a beautiful English name meaning brilliant or very bright and very illuminating. So I think this one just already right off the bat has such a great omen, already positive energy behind her moving into this bright shiny season of summer. I think it's so sweet. You can also do the nickname Kenny for this one, make it a little bit more Tom girlish, but Kenna, this one is a unique one, definitely. Another option here for the girl side, I have the name Arella, spell A-R-E-L-L-A, -L -L -A, Arella. This one is just so beautiful, Kenna and Arella, like little twin girls born in summertime. This is beautiful. Now, Arella is a Hebrew originated name, meaning messenger from God or angel. So maybe Arella and Malachi for siblings during this time, so perfect. Then for another boy's name here, very similar to Orion, I have the name Odion, spelled O-D-I-O-N. It's almost like a mixture of Orion and Odin. You have Odion. Now this one's actually an African originated name, meaning firstborn of twins. So there we have another twin name here. What was the other one? Yeah, Esau. So Esau and Odian for twin names that literally mean twins. It also has this really celestial sound to it because I feel like it just right away I think about Orion and I love that name. Obviously it's my son's middle name, but I think this one is really cool, very handsome with those O's. Then that brings me to my last four names here on the list. So this one's very short and sweet for the girls. It's the name Suvi. So S-U-V-I, Suvi for a little girl. It's Finnish originated, meaning summer. Now I actually mentioned this name way back, I believe it was last summer, and I gave it the middle name Etoile, which means star in French. So together, Suvi Etoile literally means summer star, and that combo just, Obviously, it's stuck with me ever since. It's super unique, super uncommon. I haven't seen it on really anybody's list, so it's definitely one to add on to yours if you're wanting something a little bit more feminine for your little summer girl baby. Then onto an Arabic name here, very handsome. It's actually been used for both boys and for girls. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the name Nassim. Spelled N-A-S-I-M, Nassim. And like I said, it's an Arabic originated name, meaning breeze or fresh air. Very, very airy name for a little boy or for a girl. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would use it for a boy or for a girl. I really like it for either or. And I saw a couple other different spelling variations for this one as well, with two E's instead of an I-M. Then that brings me to the second to last name here on the list, surname inspired for a girl. I have the name Summerly. Spelled S-O-M-M-E-R-L-E-Y, Summerly. I think this is one of my favorite surnames for a girl right now next to Palmer. Summerly and Palmer. I don't know. I think there's something about this one. You could do that nickname Summer and the meaning is so perfect and so dreamy. It means Summer's Meadow. You can't get anything better than that. Then that brings me to my very final name on the list here for the boy side. I have the name Radimir. So R-A-D-O-M-I-R or R-A-D-I-M-I-R, Radimir. So whimsical sounding for a boy. I feel like this one falls right into a fantasy novel. Oh, I love it. It's Slavic originated, meaning famously happy or happy world. So perfect for a little Gemini as they are full of energy, so bright and cheery, and they just make the world a happy and better place. So 
hope you guys enjoyed this list today. It was more of a shorter one, but I loved every single name here. I hope I got to add some names to your own personal baby names list. Write down in the comments below any other Gemini inspired names, or if you are a Gemini, what's your name? Write it in the comments below. Let's see if your name symbolizes your Gemini zodiac sign. Just so you guys know, next week will be possibly a video with Zayla. So stay tuned. You guys have been crying out for one. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next Sunday with another baby names list. Bye!